The Air Guitar Celebration is back in Indiana. An old flame has returned to the Pacers and taken the NBA by storm. After all, he was born ready. What the heaven is happening to Lance Stevenson? There are many mysteries in the world, but one of them has to be the connection between Lance Stevenson and the Indiana Pacers. Why is it that Stevenson's superpowers are only unlocked when he's donning a Pacers jersey? Well, really, who knows? Just sit back and enjoy the show. Lance Stevenson's comeback has entertained NBA fans around the globe. You know what I'm talking about. The shoulder shimmies, the air guitars, the extravagant plays. I've just been working out two years, just waiting for this moment. I'm so happy to be here at home. Lance Stevenson. Stevenson's return to the Pacers' home court was as spectacular as they get. Unforgettable. The flashy guard exploded for 20 points in the first quarter. The first quarter! He played just six minutes and made eight of his nine shots, draining four from deep. All eyes were on the Pacers' opponents, the Brooklyn Nets, with it being Kyrie Irving's first game of the season. But Lance the Dance stole the show all right. He ended up scoring 30 points in what was an historic outing. Stevenson became the first player in NBA history to score 20 points off the bench in the first quarter, according to Pacers reporter Pat Boylan. Also, it was the most first quarter points by a Pacer in franchise history. It was the most points that Stevenson had scored in over 300 career NBA games. And in the very next contest, Lance only went and dropped a career-high 14 assists. It was the first time he had a points-assists double-double in nearly eight years. He continued his impressive play in the following game, too, marking 60 points and 20 assists in that three-game span. Oh, boy, Stevenson was proving a point, one saying that he belongs in the NBA. Lance has given us a different vibe as a team. The spark that he has provided, the personality. There's a change in our team. It's been great to see. Rick Carlisle. Stevenson is one of the most beloved players in recent Pacers history, a fan favorite. He definitely belongs in Indiana. But it's fair to say that after the past few years of his career, no one expected Lance's third stint to be so successful, if anyone expected a third stint at all. The 31-year-old has been on a collection of 10-day contracts. Although, it has been widely reported that the Pacers are expected to keep him for the rest of the season. All right, now let's rewind a bit. Lance Stevenson had a single-season spell at the University of Cincinnati before he was selected with the 40th pick in the 2010 NBA Draft by the Indiana Pacers. Over the next four seasons, Stevenson emerged as a vital part of the team due to his boisterous style of play. He was even tasked with getting under the skin of LeBron James during those Pacers Heat playoff series. And didn't that give us many memorable moments? Remember him blowing in LeBron's ear? <laughs> in 2014, Stevenson left the Pacers and bounded around the NBA. His career took some sort of a tailspin. He had spells with the Hornets, Clippers, Grizzlies, Pelicans, Timberwolves, before ending up back with the Pacers in 2017. Lance had a productive second spell with Indiana, but the team opted against re-signing him. A surprising link-up with LeBron in Los Angeles followed during the 2018-2019 season. After that, Stevenson fell out of the league completely as he continued his career out in China. In 2021, the former Pacers star felt he needed to give the NBA another crack. So, he inked a deal with the Grand Rapids Gold in the G League. Impressive performances saw him earn a 10-day contract with the Atlanta Hawks, although his tenure with the team was pretty forgettable. Unlike his return to the Pacers, which came as his deal with Atlanta expired, Prior to the 21-22 season, never in our wildest dreams would we have thought Stevenson would be back in the NBA, making such an impact and being a valuable piece of the Pacers. But here we are. That brings us up to date, to Lance Stevenson wowing fans of the Indiana Pacers once again. It's a match made in heaven, isn't it? And don't ask why, just enjoy the moment. Savor it. The energy, the entertainment, and of course, the air guitars. <laughs>